guys, it's Melissa and welcome back to my channel. Today I am jumping on a trend and that trend is if I lost all my makeup, what would I repurchase? Uh, so I'm going to talk about my favorite, favorite makeup that if something were to happen all my makeup, First off, I would, I would cry a lot, but then I would go and buy um, these things that are my favorite. If you haven't already, you could consider maybe think about subscribing. That would be pretty awesome. Start with eyes. So I'm going to talk about my favorite eye stuff first. Stuff. Yes, my favorite eye things first. And first would have to be my Sigma eyeshadow primer. Um, I just love this stuff so much. It's just, it block, I have oily eyelids and if I don't use a primer, it's not a cute day. My eyeshadow will crease and this completely stops any of that nonsense. My favorite brow pencil is the Precisely My Brow pencil from Benefit in the shade Cool Light Blonde because it's just the perfect shade. My favorite brow gel, I have to go with the Got To Be brow gel and it just keeps it, I mean, it cements your brows. I have so many palettes but it was not even a competition to pick which one was my favorite. It's the ColourPop All Amethyst Palette. It's beautiful in purple. So I will finish up the eyes after I do foundation and concealer. I just used two colors. I used Royal Affair and Sunbird. That's all I did to, to get this look so far foundation would I buy? That's an easy choice. The House Labs Triclone Skin Foundation is my favorite. It's It looks beautiful. It works with my oily textured skin. It doesn't feel cakey ever. It almost feels like I'm not wearing anything. The concealer that I would have to go out and buy immediately would be the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It's my everyday go-to concealer. It is like the only concealer that I've ever used that just, it. I don't get creasing with it. It just stays looking nice all day long. I don't get any creasing or bunching or separating or any anything. Blush is a tough one for me because I rotate through so many different bl blushes. A recent favorite of mine that I have been using is the One Size um, Cheek Clapper Palette in Fat Ass. And the middle shade, the, the matte powder blush, the Rosebud, has kind of become my everyday blush. I don't know if I would run out immediately and repurchase this. Maybe. But it's my current favorite right now, so it's what I'm going to use today. But, oh, I feel like I just put a lot of brush, blush on that brush. Highlighter, bronzer, contour, those would probably be like, do I have favorites? Except for bronzer. I like never use bronzer. I bought some bronzer. I'm going to give it a go at some point. But I think I heard a cat. But those would probably be like low on the list of things that I would be like need to have to do a full face. So I'm going to skip those today. I'm going to finish up under the eyes. Mascara. Hands down repurchased it like four or five times at this point is my Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. It just it goes on and looks beautiful. Makes my lashes look super long. Um, washes off really easily at night. Just the Holy Grail Mascara for me. Last but not 
least would be lips and for me it's got to be the Lunar Beauty lip oils and I have three of them I keep two back here where I do my makeup and I keep one in my purse so I'm gonna go with tease me today that's the purple one I mean they just look like beautiful like a magic wand um, and they I love the gloss that they give my lips they're not sticky and then after it kind of fades away it just leaves your lips feeling so soft So that's it. That's my full face of what if I lost all my makeup, something terrible happened and I lost all my makeup, what would I immediately go out and replace it with? Those would be the things I would have to repurchase immediately. Immediately. Spooky bit. You may have noticed this guy hanging out in my background. He's new in my background. Um, it's a cute little skull and he has a crystal mohawk. And it changes colors. I don't he lights up. His mohawk lights up. Got it at Earthbound Trading Company. So I will link that down below if you want to get your own cute light up punk rock skull. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure go check me out on my social media. I'll leave everything in the description box. Um, and if you want, if you haven't already, it'd be pretty awesome if you hit that subscribe button. Button? <laughs> subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And have a spectacular rest of your day. And I will see you later. Bye.